Today is a very sad day in the fifth gear office because after five months of happy motoring, our Mazda CX-7 long-termer has got to go back home. Before it heads off though, let's have a quick recap of everything we've learned about it. Big crossovers like this get a lot of slack for using too much fuel, taking up too much road space and generally being a little bit unnecessary. But when you're frequently getting in and out or loading up luggage or driving through country lanes or sitting in traffic trying to see above the cars, the extra height is actually very useful. Thanks, boy. Or the £27,000 asking price kit that you might have to pay extra for on cars like the BMW X3 or Audi Q5 come as standard. So the heated leather seats, the tiny little sat nav, the reversing camera, the blind spot monitoring system are all basically free. Now that the sun's a little bit lower of an evening, it doesn't take much to get absolutely blinded by reflections from these chrome rings. The doors don't quite shut with the thud you'd hope from a £30,000 car. And let's not forget that its first service, where it had to have the AdBlue tank refilled, did take four days. The materials inside are smart and have proven to be very hard wearing. The Bose sound system is incredibly good. The gear change can nearly trick you into thinking you're driving an MX-5 sports car. And to our eyes at least, it looks stocky and classy from the outside. For a crossover, there's very little body roll when you go around corners. It's got a nice, sharp throttle response, so you can kind of blip it on the down changes and pretend you're driving something quicker. It's got a nice, taut but comfortable ride, and there's even a sense that it doesn't mind being hurled about. It's a good car to drive. With 170 horsepower and a 0 to 60 time of about 11 seconds, it's not going to be clipping at the heels of any hot hatches, but because of the way the power and the torque are spread across the rev range, it never feels like it's struggling to pull its own weight. We've averaged 34.6 miles per gallon during our time with the car, which is just three off Mazda's claimed figures. But more important than the headline economy results is the fact that this is fitted with an AdBlue system. Now that doesn't mean the CO2 levels are any lower, they are 199 grams per kilometer, which is perfectly reasonable, but it does mean that this produces less nitrous oxides than pretty much any other diesel on sale, which is incredibly good. Mazda called the CX-7 a sporty crossover, which at first is quite a difficult concept to get your head around, but after 10,000 miles with it, we don't really care what niche it fits into. We found it to be a brilliant mix of everything from speed to style, to handling, to ride, to luxury, to space, to economy, to equipment. If you're looking for anything from a Ford Mondeo to a BMW X3, don't forget about the Mazda CX-7 we are going to really miss it.